Good day, students. Uh, welcome to part three um, on my integration by parts, advanced table integration um, series. So let's go ahead and take a look at uh, the second example. This is a continuation of um, the two part series on advanced table integration. So for number two, we have to evaluate, evaluate the indefinite integral of cosine of the natural logarithm of 3x. Okay, now this um, problem is a, an integration by parts problem. But in order for us to do um, integration by parts, we have to do a U substitution first, and then we're going to apply integration by parts, okay? Now, I'm going to call this a W substitution because I'm going to be using U substitution later, and I don't want us confusing our U's um, if I use it twice. So let's uh, call the inner function right here, W. So I'm going to call um, W equals the natural logarithm of 3x. Now I'm going to exponentiate both sides using E as the basis of exponentiation. So we have E to the W is equal to E to the natural logarithm of 3x. Okay. Why did we exponentiate both sides using e? Because it gets rid of this natural logarithmic function, and upon differentiation, I can end up with a multiple of dx. So on the left side, we just have e to the w. On the right side, the e and the ln's cancel out, so we have 3x. Now let's go ahead and differentiate both sides. If I differentiate e to the w, I'll have e to the w dw. On the right side, if I differentiate um, three to the x, I'll just simply have three dx. Now I need dx um, isolated so I can substitute it. So I'll basically divide both sides by three. Divide both sides by three. So we have, um, and work sideways, e to the w over three dw is equal to dx. Okay, so I'm going to make a substitution using um, this equation right here. And um, let's see, this equation right here. Okay, so let's go ahead and rewrite our new problem. So the original problem we have, the integral of cosine of the natural logarithm of 3x dx using our w substitution now becomes the integral of cosine of Instead of um, ln x, we're now going to have w. And instead of dx, we'll have e to the w over 3 dw. Okay? Now, you might get tempted to factor out e to the w over, I mean, to factor out the 3 here. Um, you could do that, but since you're making multiple substitutions, it's good to refrain from that or else it makes it, um, process much complicated when we're doing our integration by parts. So the smart strategy here will be to just leave it in this form, okay? Now we can clearly see that this is an integration by parts problem, and I'm going to evaluate it using my advanced tabular integration method, all right? So using our Lipert rule, we know that um, exponents come before trig, so um, our u is going to be e to the w over 3, and our dv will be cosine w, okay? So I have u and dv. Now, the method I'm going, I'm using right now, I went over it in detail in my previous installment of this um, two-part series, so please go back and uh, review that um, if you do not understand uh, what I'm doing right now, okay? So my u is going to be e to the w over 3, and my dv as cosine w, all right? So we're going to keep integrating until we end up with a, with a multiple of cosine, so until the cosine function shows up again. So let's go ahead and do that. If I integrate cosine, I have sine w. The question is, does this, does it, is it a negative or a positive? Since, um, if you differentiate sine, does the sign change? The answer is no, so it stays just the way it is, all right? 
So let's differentiate this. The derivative of e to the w, you can factor out one third, is still e to the w over three. Okay? Now we're gonna keep integrating until we end up with the cosine function. So if you integrate cosine um, sine w, you end up with cosine w. Is it a negative or a positive? Well, if you differentiate cosine, does the sign change? It does because the derivative of cosine is negative sine. So um, we have to put a minus here to compensate for that sign change. If you integrate this, you're going to end up with same thing, e to the w over 3. So you stop here, stop integrating and differentiating because you now have uh, a complete cycle. We're back to cosine. All right, so let's put in our arrows for uh, the tabular integration. This is uv, and then this is uv. And then we're going to group our last um, row together like this. The last row. Like I said earlier, I went over this um, method in the earlier tutorial, so you can take a look at that. And then the sign, we know that the, the sign behavior for tabular integration, this is plus, and then this is minus for the uv, but this minus also has to be um, distributed to the VDU, so we put a minus here. This minus also goes here too, okay? So let's go ahead and um, set up our integral. Uh, we're going to have, um, let's see. Um, so we have the integral, the original problem, Integral of cosine w times e to the w over 3 dw is equal to the first pair. Uh, that's going to be, you multiply these two and the sign is going to be positive. So it's going to be e to the w sine w over 3. And then the next pair, these two minus, this minus times the minus makes it a plus plus e to the w cosine w over 3. And then for the last portion, since we're going horizontally, we're going to have an integral. It's going to be an integral. Um, so if we multiply minus times minus times minus, 3 minuses is going to be a minus, minus the integral of VDU, which is going to be e to the w cosine w over 3. Okay, dw. Now, if you notice, um, this integral and that integral are identical, so we can um, combine them. So what we'll have here is we're going to add the integral. I can rewrite this as um, cosine w times e to the w over 3. Same thing. And then add it on here also. So the integral of cosine w times e to the w over 3 dw. All right, so when I combine those two, let's go ahead and do the combination. I'm going to have um, 2 times the integral of cosine uh, w times e to the w over 3 dw equals this business right here, e to the w sine w over 3 plus e to the w cosine w over 3. And now to get rid of this 2 because we didn't have any 2 in the original question, uh, what we'll do is we're basically going to multiply both sides by 1 half to get rid of that 2. So let's go ahead and do that. You multiply this side by 1 over 2 and multiply this entire expression on the right side by 1 over 2. Okay? Now if we simplify, we're going to have the integral of cosine w times e to the w over 3 dw equals, if you distribute, you have e to the w sine w over 6 plus e to the w cosine w over 6. Okay, just multiply the denominators plus c. So the question now is, are we done? The answer is no. 
remember the original problem was in terms of x, so we have to substitute our w equals ln 3x back into our equation and simplify it as much as we can, okay? So the original problem, the integral of cosine of the natural logarithm of 3x dx equal to, becomes e to the, instead of w, will be the natural logarithm of 3x sine instead of w will be sine of the natural logarithm of 3x this entire business draw that again 3x and this will be over 6 and then same substitution process applies to this um, term right here so we have e to the natural logarithm of 3x instead of w cosine the natural logarithm of 3x because that's what was substituted for w divided by 6 plus c. Okay, now um, let's see, can we simplify this? I am, yeah, we can simplify this. The ln, the e and the ln can cancel out the inverse separation, so we can cancel out e and ln here, and then e and ln here. So that's going to leave us with, um, let's move that up, it's going to leave us with 3x sine the natural logarithm of 3x divided by 6 um, plus 3x cosine the natural logarithm of 3x divided by uh, 6 plus c, okay? And you notice uh, 3 can go into 6 in both terms. So our final answer is going to be x sine of the natural logarithm of 3x over 2, or you can write it as 1 half, makes no difference, over 2 plus x cosine the natural logarithm of 3x over 2 also because uh, 3 goes into 6 2 times over 2 plus c. All right? So that's the value of the indefinite integral of cosine of the natural logarithm of 3x dx. So that's that. Thanks so much for taking the time to watch this presentation. You can feel free to subscribe to my channel by clicking up here. And please post a comment to let me know what you think about this clip. More clips can be found on mathcutserve.com calculus. Thanks again for watching and have a wonderful day.